So today, the uh, students have been participating in a Hack the Drone challenge, which encompasses a number of dis uh, different disciplines, spanning penetration testing, forensics, a few defensive aspects as well, essentially trying to break into a drone and keep the other teams out of it. So one of the key parts of this challenge is not just your ability to break into systems or to forensically identify interesting artifacts, but the ability to work as a team. The system imposes a number of constraints about how many people can simultaneously access a resource, and it requires them to effectively communicate to solve problems. Otherwise, it disconnects everyone and the box starts to fight back. We were given access to a Raspberry Pi, a small single board computer. Um, we had to connect it to a network um, assign it a number of parameters to allow it to talk to other computers, then break into the device and um, gain access to a number of um, pieces of information scattered around it, which would allow us to, to control a drone at the front of the room. Yeah, it's been great working with different people. Yep. Um, so, uh, so you get experiences from from different team members, um, from from different teams in different yep. challenges. So it's it's always good to recognise each other's skills and and work out how we can best use those to yep. our advantage. So it's hugely impressive result. We've had three teams successfully control the drone for a short period of time, uh, and only one hijack in the middle of a flight. Uh, of course, the uh, the winning team about 15, 16 minutes ahead of the next fastest team. So very neck and neck, uh, but just managing to get in there a little quicker and write some scripts to take it over. Overall, we've worked really well together, and it's been uh, it's been impressive just how quickly the uh, team of five quite determined people can break a challenge like this. We got there first, which was nice, um, but no, it was it was just good to work together as a team, knowing how easy it is to break into a lot of those devices once you know what you're doing is uh, something the manufacturers really need to get a grip on and, uh, and learn how to yeah. sort out. Today's been, um, it's been putting into practice some of the techniques and tools that we've used now many times during the course of the academy, uh, but uh, it's been especially um, helpful in working with different people again. Um, yeah, it, it's, it's been a good day. Aside from a fun challenge of, of hacking into a drone, which is always entertaining to us security professionals, there really are a couple of takeaways. First, it demonstrates the unprecedented power that we're giving cyber criminals in the physical world as we connect more and more technology in our everyday lives. And it shows how many of these devices are surprisingly vulnerable compared to traditional computers. Obviously, the students also get a lot of experience in working together in teams, effectively communicating and organizing themselves. And lastly, problem solving skills. It's fantastic to know everything you possibly can about security, but if you can't think laterally and identify the right approach to a situation, you're not gonna get very far.